Back on the Zenith 707, when I left off, you guys saw I had documented the uh, location of all the capacitors and uh, validated all the resistors need to be replaced, if memory serves me correctly. Anyway, it's time for me to go ahead and get started back on this thing. So I'll provide some updates here in just a bit. Thanks for watching this series. Even though it looks roomy underneath the chassis, it's really not with those IF cans once they're back in place. It's pretty tight and the uh, vertical height is minimized as well. So I took time to uh, restuff the electrolytic can, uh, get the old capacitors out, put two modern day 600 volt capacitors in place and increase the uh, capacitance. Up next, I uh, took time to go ahead and get the 250 ohm Candome resistor out as well. And you can see here carefully repositioning the antenna coil and oscillator coil and getting the new lead dressings in place from the uh, tuning condenser itself and getting it reattached to the uh, top side of the chassis. Being that the transformer itself had been uh, exposed to uh, urine, had rusted over real bad. You can see I took some time here to uh, repaint it and I decided to go back with a uh, wrinkle finish uh, just because of the uh, pitting itself there in the uh, housing of the uh, transformer. So I think that's going to be more appealing to the eye. And a few still photos from various angles there just showing my progress so far. The uh, voltage divider there on a uh, standoff and that second IF can is just placed there. You can see how tight everything is. So I've still got to get the uh, first and second IF transformer back in the set and wired up as well. And then I've got to uh, tackle the uh, loudspeaker also. And a look at the chassis itself, a little cleaner and uh, more appealing to the eye than my starting point for sure. It's been in a low humidity environment uh, before starting the uh, recap and getting those resistors replaced. So I still need to apply my uh, rust inhibitor on the chassis at uh, some point as well. And a little more housekeeping here. You can see the uh, shielded grid wire lead will need to be replaced in addition to the uh, pilot lamp itself will have to be uh, reworked. So uh, let's take this thing for a spin. I built another circuit and I'll share the uh, design in a future video that allows you to hook up to the uh, tank circuit, that being the uh, LC circuit, and uh, tune through the uh, broadcast band. So uh, you're listening to it now as I uh, tune through with just a wire antenna about 10 feet in length here in the shop. But my friend, my word is true and plain. Situations they're in all the time. They know that if they lose the games on Monday or Tuesday, that uh, they just continue on with their season. So, but it was intense, and it was true. Broadcast. I said it moving forward uh, on Monday on our show. Is that two games with uh, Tampa, two games with Florida, Carolina with games in hand and the situation they're in are probably best positioned to win that position. Have you? Uh,